Hello and welcome back. We're doing another bonus video on top of the other bonus videos. And I, this, this is kind of an important question answered, so I, I'm probably going to just... Yep. You know, usually I don't push my work all that much, but, you know, I'll usually post, say, hey, I post something on Twitter and leave it at that, but I might forward this to a few people and just post it and get it out there because there is a major misconception about the church. And I, I feel it needs to be addressed. Anyway, I'm back here in the uh, Simply Eevee outfit. Uh, let's see, what what should we do? I think, did we do this from last time? I don't remember. Let's, let's do this view from the top of the train as we travel through lovely Victorian London. Uh, so this is one of those that I became aware of, um, one of the beliefs about our, our religion. I became aware of when I was a kid. Um, and I became aware of it when there was a controversy over a uh, young man going to college. He uh, had received a sports scholarship, and um, they uh, had then the deciding committee or whatever took away his scholarship uh, when they discovered he was a Mormon, and the reason they took it away was... Uh, because the scholarship was only for Christians, and I'm quoting that exactly, which, you know, it was one of those moments where I'm just like, wait, what, 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 how could they, what, what, we're obviously Christian. So, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I want to cover this and kind of go over all the pros and cons, the for and against type things uh, about this, because I think it's important, and I think a lot of people have this misconception that we are not Christian. So... So I'm, I'm going to start kind of at the beginning. What actually is a Christian? What's what's the technical definition? Well, it's someone who who uh, firmly believes and has faith. Well, well, no, we'll start with just firmly believes that Jesus is the Christ, uh, the Son of God, the Savior and Redeemer of the world. So believes that has a firm belief in that one, um, and then goes on and has faith in Christ and shows that faith by taking upon themselves his name and following him. So, in terms of all of this, so, yeah. We actually meet all these qualifications. <laughs> it, it's kind of funny that people argue about this, but yes, we firmly believe Jesus is the Christ, Son of God, Savior and Redeemer of the world. We pretty much believe everything that's written about him in the Old in the New Testament, I should say. And, uh, yeah, we have a very firm belief in that. We follow him. We have taken upon ourselves his name. The, the actual name of the church is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's, we have his name in the actual name of our church. The Mormon is, is just a nickname, and po possibly it's led to certain confusions about us. But we have very much taken upon him uh, our na his name upon ourselves. Sorry. Uh, some, sometimes my words, you know, form a big, big line trying to, you know, go from my brain to my mouth and they get jumbled. But yes, we have taken upon ourselves his name. We, we follow him, uh, completely and totally follow him. So it begs the question, why do people uh, not believe that we're Christian? And it, it, it does make some, for some very interesting conversations. I had a conversation on Twitter with a, a young person who, you know, when I said, hey, we're Christian, we are Christians, uh, the response I got back was, but you don't even say Christian in your um, profile. And I'm like, my profile, you know, I, I several years ago I decided you know what, I'm going to be upfront about everything about myself, so I include. I said, member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, you know, I thought in my poor, blind ignorance that saying that I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ would be enough for most people to say, oh, he's a Christian, <laughs> but apparently uh, not. And I had to kind of explain the name of the church is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and the response I got back was, so, so what does that have to do with anything? You're, you still haven't said you were a Christian. So, it, it's like there's a disconnect between 
you know, the word Christian and saying you're the Church of Jesus Christ. Um, there's a disconnect in certain people's mind. That, that could be part of the confusion. The nickname Mormon could be part of the confusion as well, saying like, well, they believe in additional scriptures, so they, they can't be Christian. Um, you know, that could be part of the confusion, but I think, you know, it's... It is hard, kind of hard to justify. It could be ignorance, it could be confusion, and it could just be a lot of people just don't like our faith and our belief, which, you know, that's fine as long as I have no problem with you not liking our beliefs or our faith or whatever we believe in, but, you know, I do have a problem with you not being accurate in how you assess our beliefs, applying beliefs that aren't our own or denying us, you know, titles and beliefs. We meet all the qualifications for Christians that there is, like I said. Um, and another thing, thing I think might be the confusion, because I've talked to a few people, and once I've been able to get past, like, okay, why do you think we're not Christian? You know, and they said, well, you don't believe in Christ. And I would have to go, well, we believe, you know, Son of God, Savior and Redeemer of the world. Um, you know, all the, all the stuff in the New Testament we believe about Christ. So, why do you think we don't believe in Christ? It's like, oh, well, okay, you don't believe in the same Christ we believe in. At which point I go, hey, did I wait? Because <laughs> that's a little confusing to me. Wait, wait, you don't believe in Christ in the New Testament? It's like, well, yeah, but, you know, you believe additional stuff about him. It's like, okay, well, what do we believe that's so, so different? Um, we believe he is Jehovah of the Old Testament, but that's also pretty much what the Catholics believe. They believe that... Jesus Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Ghost are uh, one person, um, and we believe that they are three separate people but have one purpose, um, which is, you, you don't have to agree with us, you don't have to agree with uh, Catholics on that, it's down to your own personal beliefs, so I, so, but Catholics pretty much believe that Jesus Christ was Jehovah of the Old Testament, it, just in a slightly different way than we believe it, but it's, it's still the same beliefs, so it's not really as out there as people give it credit for, but they said, oh, well, he, he did some crazy stuff. I mean, you know, he, he showed up in, in the Book of Mormon, and we're like, yeah, but if you read the Book of Mormon, he doesn't do anything, you know, really that different than what he did when he preached to the people in Jerusalem. So, to put it into some context, uh, after Christ died, three days, and he was resurrected, we believe that uh, he uh, visited the American continent, visited the righteous followers of Christ there. Now, we also believe he visited many other followers of Christ throughout the world. Um, we, but we only have the record of his teachings in Jerusalem and of his teachings in America. Um, so, a, a few people might say, well, we, we don't really believe that he did that, but okay, that's fine. You don't have to believe that, but it's our belief. And it doesn't really change, fundamentally change who Christ is. Um, like I said, if pick up a Book of Mormon, read Third Nephi, start in uh, chapter 11. That's, and pretty much the end of the chapter is Christ preaching amongst the Nephites. Um, and, you know, a lot of what he preaches is the exact same as he preached uh, during his ministry, his life in Jerusalem. It, it, it contains the same information, the same sort of uh, preaching, and, the, you know, it, it, it's pretty much the exact same. He just, you know, doing it for a different group of um, Jewish people, basically. <laughs> um, there's, you know, that, the, the weird thing, there's no real fundamental changes, just the addition that he, after he's resurrected, visited more people, which doesn't really seem all that out there to me. So may, may, maybe uh, somebody can get on and explain to me how that's, you know, out there. Or, you know, perhaps you can, you know, study the uh, four uh, testimonies or gospels in the New Testament and compare them to Third Nephi. You know, start, like I said, it starts at chapter 11 is when he first appears amongst the Nephites and goes to the uh, end of the book of Third Nephi. So yeah, you can compare his ministry uh, in the four Gospels to his ministry in 3 Nephi 11 to the end of, of the uh, book. And 
the Book of Third Nephi, not the entire Book of Mormon. Although, yeah, far be it for me to stop you from reading the entire Book of Mormon. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, you can do the comparison and see, see if there's any real difference. I, I really can't find much difference. There's a slight difference in which, in the words that he used, but you'll find that same sort of distinction between the four Gospels as well. So... Like I said, this is a really odd belief, and I'm not entirely sure if people have thought it all the way through. I, I don't really accept this idea that we believe in a different Christ than the rest of the Christian world believes in, because we believe he did exactly <laughs> what he did in, in the New Testament. believe that. We have sort of an added belief that he was Jehovah of the Old Testament that really doesn't change anything he did, uh, per se. And like I said... At least one other Christian religion, the Catholics, believe essentially the same thing. Slightly, a slightly different belief, like I said, but they essentially believe the same thing. And then the other additional belief we have is that he, on after his he was resurrected, visited other groups of people and taught them the same thing. So, like I said, it, it's really kind of an odd sort of uh, belief. And I'm not 100% sure why people have it, other than, well, they're just Mormons, they don't count, type of uh, dislike of our beliefs and our religion. But anyway, uh, if, I missed, if I missed something on this, uh, please let me know. Uh, let the takeaway be simply this. Mormons, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, are Christians. And we will leave it at that. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this. I will see you in the next video. Bye.